Yeah, good day guys. Um, you're welcome to Blog Info Tech channel once again, and this is your boy Chibuza Agoa. Um, this time around, I actually, um, I actually bought this an ELM. I hope I'm standing. ELM three two seven mini Bluetooth OBD two scanner. So um, it actually comes also with a disc which you can install on your PC and you start making use of the, the Bluetooth scanner to scan your system. Um. I actually putting up this video for many people that have been asking can they buy this is it really working um where can they buy this despite the country they are like myself i'm in nigeria like i always say in my video i bought this from aliexpress and it got delivered to my doorstep and um that's all you can buy from um, amazon from aliexpress wheresoever you decide but um this um bluetooth scanner is quite handy because you can actually use it to like diagnose some faults and you detect some error codes error codes from your car and you can actually use it to clear some certain error codes i'm not just only introducing this to you um we shall move into my car whereby i will carry out and we shall i shall show you how to you use this actually on your car to detect some codes and also to clear some error codes um in case you're visiting this channel for the first time chibuzagwa like i said from the start is my name and what we do here is actually we dish out tutorial periodically on how to carry out some functions. It's actually a technology related channel. So if this is the kind of video you like to see whereby you learn how to do things that are technology related, you can simply hit the subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification so that I get notified whenever I release and important videos just like this tutorial based videos and technology related news videos. So automatically once you've done that, you're part of the family and you keep on getting updates whenever I release my next video. Um, let's now move to my car and i will show you how to use this on your car um the next video let's just move to my car so that you see what i'm talking about now let's go so we're now inside my car and as you can see it's a honda accord 2006 model and that's what we'll be using in testing out this um obd2 scanner mini that i talked about and before we proceed in case if you want to purchase this in the description of this video i'll be placing an amazon link and also um a link to an aliexpress offer whereby you can actually buy this this as a cheap product as a cheap price yes it's just at an offer that is quite affordable so you go to the description of this video and purchase if you're in us you can buy from amazon then if you're in any part of africa be it nigeria just like myself then you can buy from aliexpress just like i did so now let's move to the steps so the first thing you have to do is you have to connect this um, ELM327 Mini OBD2 scanner to the port and yes, this is the port, we just catch it in the camera. So that's where I'll be connecting this to. So I just paused the camera for a while and I've connected. As you can see, the red light is actually flashing. Oh, my camera is catching it enough. So connecting the OBD2 scanner to the OBD2 port in your car is the first step the next step you have to do is to like put in your key into your ignition and don't actually start it just turn it on once now um people have been asking questions concerning the app which they will use in actually use perfectly for the lm327 obd2 scanner the app i'm actually using is the car scanner app as you can see it's actually free the blue cap i hope this camera is catching it enough okay yes this is the app i'm talking about car scan as you can see so we just have to like tap it on it's actually loading so now the car scanner app is on it's on as you can see now so once you've turned it on all you have to do is to tap on connect this green icon connect so you tap on connect Is now trying to connect. Connects into OEM three to seven, as you can see. Like I told you, first of all, ensure that the red. Okay, it's trying to connect. The ignition must be switched successfully, as you can see. It has successfully connected so this is the app cast can app it is free you can use it to do um a lot of things from your elm327 of the two scanner so now what to next we'll have to do um let's try and um diagnose trouble codes okay now let's read 
Okay, read. Let's see. I'm sure there's some codes. Error codes, yes, on this car. And two has actually popped up. So has actually popped up. It's still reading for more. Okay, three or four. There are now many. There are now many on the list. You have one, two, three, four. So all these error codes um actually signify that um I have to like carry out some um fixes on this car. So you can see you can use a car scanner, the car scanner app, which is free. You can download download it actually from the Google Play Store. This is an Android device. I don't really know if it's available on the apple store but yes i'm using an android device and that's what i use is a free app it's a free app totally free so all the schools are the that are actually what this um elm 327 mini of the two scan have detected on this car which i have to like fix i have to go and read them and fix it so you can see how easy it is for you to actually carry out um a diagnosis text reading error codes using the elm 327 obd2 scanner and which is actually free um the official app um many people actually use the tog app you can see that from the play store it carries out so many um diagnostic functions is different so now let's see if we can let's go back let's go back i want to turn on my ignition let's see the dashboard i actually want to turn on my car okay you can see all this are idle because the car is actually on idle. So carrying out on um, um, so many tests or detecting the records using the LM327 OPD2 mini scanner is actually possible. Um, you can use the car scanner app. Let me like close it. This very app, um, the car scanner app, and this app. Use it, download it, and actually buy this product. So uh, like I said, if you go to the, link, the description of this video, I actually placed a link whereby you can buy this product from Amazon and also from AliExpress. So if you find this video interesting enough, uh, kindly give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more tutorial based videos just like this, hit the subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification so that I get notified um, whenever I release my next video. So with that, I think we've come to the end of this video. And if you find it interesting, kindly give it a thumbs up. And yes, it actually makes the YouTube algorithm to push it for people like you to see more videos just like this so we've come to this end of this video um blogging for tech is the name of this channel and chibuzago is my name so we'll see my next video bye bye for now